Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to divide decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, divide this. Negative 25.65 divided by negative 0 0.06. I'm gonna simplify this. Well, we're dividing two negative numbers, which means our result will be positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. That's good to know. So let's go set this up. We have a zero, let's do long division here. Zero, set up here, 0 0.06 goes into a 25.65. And I'm ignoring my, well, negatives here, right? Because we know it's gonna be a positive. But what we can do here is, I don't like dealing with the decimals. So if you move this over two spots, one, two, this problem is the same thing as six divided by, and this one over two, one, two, same amount, six divided by 2,565 is essentially the same thing. So now let's go, what do we normally do with our process on long division? Does two go uh, into six? No. But two go, uh, <laughs> six go into two? No, two does go into six. Does six go into 25? Yes. How many times? It's gonna be four times. Four times a six is a 24. Then we subtract these two numbers. 25 minus a 24 is a one. Let's bring down this six. Six can go into 16. How many times? That's gonna be a good old two. Gives me a two right there. Two times six gives me the 12. We subtract it here. 16 minus two is a uh, four, if I can know my subtraction, and we bring down the five. Then from there, how many times does six go into 45? That's gonna be seven times. Seven times a six here is a 42. Subtract them, 42 minus, 45 minus 42 is a three. And we bring down the next place value here we create is a zero. We add that to it here. Now does six go into 30 and well, Yes, six goes into 30 here. It's gonna be five times. Decimal stays here, put a five there. Five times six is a 30, and they cancel, and we get a zero. And so again, a negative divided by a negative is gonna be a positive. So our answer here is a 427.5, and there we have it, we have our answer. I hope this video was helpful for you on how to divide decimals. If it was, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.